first days already, I could uh, feel that amongst not only the players, but amongst everyone, uh, there was a lot of frustration about last season. Not towards, for instance, North Shetland, who became uh, champions, but only towards themselves, which is always a good thing. You should be angry, feel that you failed uh, on some occasion. And I, I remember I told the players um, already in that first game at home, um, you, you can erase all your um, negative emotions, your frustration of last season. Uh, let's show that we, we're back in town and that, that we want to, to make a good season. Of course, that first game became a highlight due to the, the, the ups and downs in that game. I think very recently about the game we had uh, last week in, 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 in Sunderjuske, in bad um, weather conditions, against a team that was fully motivated. Uh, we were 1-0 uh, down and then still came back 1-2. It was not a great football performance, but in some occasions, and, and that was one, you have to show other qualities in order to, to, to be positioned um, as, as a first. I'm not feeling angry because we lost, for instance, the only competition game up to now, Super League game up to now in uh, Horsens, but the way in which it, it happened. We, kept on warning the players during the week and then still you can feel starting the game that already you, you lose half of the, of the points before starting the game so that, that doesn't seem uh, quite well and then um, we, we had a, a, a not the adequate reaction so uh, it's not because of the, of the loss that you're deceived but, but the way in which you lose. Andreas Cornelius who was, I would say, practically Mr. Nobody in the start of the season. Okay, it was a, a good performing youth player, but he, he still had to prove everything on, on the highest level. And I think the second one is Nikolai Jurgensen. These are two young Danish players. Uh, one of them is, is totally of, of, of Copenhagen, being uh, raised in uh, Etsiko. So I think also that's, that's two major examples uh, for the identity of a club. People can't imagine that um, a lot of new things coming on you. For myself, it was a first experience living alone abroad. It was a first experience living abroad. It was a first experience working um, abroad. But after all, um, we're only, I think, 1,000 kilometers away from, from Brussels. And a few times, I think I went home uh, two times. You can't imagine that I already have some problems of adapting in Belgium again to the way of living, uh, which seemed so uh, simple, so cool in Denmark compared to Belgium. 